I don't know if you've, if you've ever seen it, but it's like things to do at Walmart. And it's like, like talk behind the aisles or just like talk behind the different bread aisles. And while people are like passing, just be like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> so Walmarts of the world and everyone who goes to Walmarts, watch out. <laughs> Hi, my name's Eden, um, and I'm here with Marcus Jade, um, a musician, a very talented musician, who uh, we're very happy to have here in the Pop Dust office. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Eden. How are you? Not bad. How are you all doing out there? <laughs> Will you tell um, anyone watching a little bit about what kind of music you make? I play blues music. And blues music really was a huge influence along with like grunge and some hard rock, some folk music, some folk rock. So I kind of play a little bit of everything along with some R&B, some rhythm and blues as well, singer songwriter. So it all kind of forms into it. But I would say just to summarize it, blues, the blues style. Where did you grow up and how did you um, come to New York City? <laughs> yeah, um, I grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, it was just a really small little part of, you know, the city. Speedway, the northwest side, sort of speak, um, but mostly just the west side. Kind of moved around a lot on that side, you know, particular side of town and then I decided, you know, like at that point in the time, I was just like, you know, I'm just about to make a bunch of money and just move away, just move away. And at that time, I was seeing somebody and we both like came up with the idea of like, let's just move to New York, just move to New York. And I was just, it was a whim, it was a wimby whim. And yeah, like since then, I've been here for about, five years maybe going on six cool yeah um what inspires you or like what's been inspiring you to write or perform of lately a lot of things inspire me to write particularly just uh, life in general i think that like everyone has you know ups and downs that they go through a life and i am no different and i think that writing music making sort of gives that extra extra feel for music or extra feel for like life in general and I just want to use it to kind of like speak into like all these different things and that what is inspires me as well as like you know life uh, New York City is a huge influence this place is amazing this place is gorgeous um and definitely like the, I guess you could say like the changing of the times, social conditions, politics. Why do you make music? Because I love to. I, I, just, I can't think of anything else, to be honest with you, of like what I should be doing. I, I have a lot of different interests and in like particular things that I'm like trying to make into like business ventures. But music is something that I feel like I connect to. You know, I connect with, with people or, and I feel like it is a language that is very universal uh, simply because I feel like it, it speaks to, it speaks to everybody. I can definitely um, hear that in all your work. Um, so for where can we listen to your music? Uh, Spotify, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, <laughs> just look at all my stuff and yeah, always support always support i've got new stuff coming out all the time so yeah yeah all right well anything else you want to add before we move to the box this yeah um, i'm working on a new album i'm i'm, I'm kind of finished with it i would like some help mm -hmm. wink wink <laughs> <laughs> i'm just uh kind of getting some some fine tuning on it but yeah i just really kind of doubled down lately and just started cooking some stuff and lo and behold there's a there's something there and yeah so that should be coming out next month really i'm gonna probably like you know do a whole thing to make it big but yeah i'm excited for it and then i'm gonna be putting out a few more eps 
within yeah. within before the end of the year. So yeah, a lot of new material really. You heard it here first, so. Oh yeah, <laughs> first, this is the first. Um, all right, so we have um, this magical pop dust box, um, which contains <laughs> like the deepest questions you'll ever be asked. They really get to your soul. Anyway, so would you like to pick one? Sure. It says, what's your favorite scary movie? I think my favorite scary movie really is uh, Friday the 13th. It's, never, it's just never gonna get old. Jason Voorhees, he's never, he's always around. And yeah, he's, he's the best. He's the best like psycho. Wanted to go for one more? Or? Cool, cool, cool. One or two more. <laughs> What's the most <laughs> expensive thing you've shoplift? Wow, this is incriminating. <laughs> I'm gonna be really sorry about this, but I stole the Pearl Jam album. What is it? Ten? That Pearl Jam with even flow and all the, mm -hmm. the good songs on it. I, that's the most expensive thing I ever really stole. Like. That was like ten dollars, and I didn't have it, and I wanted, wow. I wanted that CD. <laughs> morals, morals, I think. <laughs> Moral of the story, man. Like, just wait till you know MP3 and Spotify come out. <laughs> a record you stole? <laughs> it was a CD. It okay. was a CD, like compact disc. So, like, this was in the day. Yeah, that was that was incriminating, but good, good memory. Incriminating. <laughs> All right, I'm try one more. <laughs> Sure. If you were invisible for one day, what would you do? <laughs> I would do so much. Like that's, if it's just one day. Right. This is a imagine? bank question. <laughs> Every question, like anything you want to answer, it's just going to be a full ride regardless. I would go to a Walmart and like the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. probably, you know, somewhere metropolitan but not too metropolitan that way people would just kind of like astound it and i would just like i do like the 40 things that you do at a walmart it just like there's like this whole i don't know if you've, if you've ever seen it but it's like things to do at walmart and it's like like talk behind the aisles or just like talk behind the different bread aisles and while people are like passing just be like <laughs> So Walmarts of the world and everyone who goes to Walmarts, watch out. <laughs> I'm coming for you, but you'll never know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think that would be the most dangerous thing I'd do. Just be at Walmart. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, coming by. And everyone check out, check out Marcus's music and shows if you're around the area. 